I sometimes wonder if visitors from another planet did observe humankind, what they'd make of the two distinct types. Not skin colour or clothing, but for the fact that a minority walk around with both arms swinging, whilst the majority appear to be permanently having a hand clamped to the side of the head. Is this an expression of pain, or some upper caste salute? <laughs> well, it seems that we now inhabit a society where people are terrified to be alone. They must always be in communication. This piece, which I came across early in my teens, was written in the mid-17th century by Sir Thomas Brown. It made a great impression on me because it exactly stated my own feelings. Although I've always had friends, I've always been perfectly happy with my own company, and I know that as long as my darling wife was safe, I could perfectly well survive solitary confinement. Solitude Unthinking heads, who have not learnt to be alone, are in a prison to themselves if they be not also with others. Whereas on the contrary, they whose thoughts are in a fair and hurry within are sometimes fain to retire into company, to be out of the crowd of themselves. He who must needs have company must sometimes needs have bad company. Be able to be alone. Lose not the advantage of solitude and the society of thyself. Nor be only content, but delight to be alone and single with the omnipresency. He who is thus prepared, the day is not uneasy, nor the night black unto him.